welcome to another episode of Taryn's Triathlon Time. So today is October 5th, which is the Friday before the Friday before Kona. Very exciting. Um, I have a bike ride to do today, a little swim, a little run, um, and then I leave for Kona on Monday. What? A lot of people are leaving today, which is amazing, It'd be awesome. Um, but I wanted to get in sort of one last weekend before I headed that way. So this past week has been one of those weeks where, you know, you check everything off before you go on a trip, just like little tasks here and there. Um, I think I'm getting there, which is good. It's very exciting. My husband's home this weekend from Canada. Unfortunately, he can't make it to Kona because his boss, his boss's wife is expecting their first child on October 13th. And one of them, because they're both supervisors on this TV show, one of them has to be in Canada on set shooting at all times. So since his boss, since childbirth, I think Trump's an Iron Man, um, his boss is gonna be in LA and he has to go back up to Canada. So, and that's totally fine. Um, but he's home this weekend, which is great because I really wanted to see him before I left and that'll be nice. So I'm looking forward to the next couple days chilling out with him and then we'll both, you know, go on our little adventures. Um, something I thought about this morning mainly is uh, as I'm embarking on kind of this next, you know, phase of my career, if you will, um, I'm trying to make it into career, <laughs> all the stuff I'm shooting here. Uh, and it made me think about uh, it made me think about this answer, this answer to a question that I had, uh, that I was given for this uh, Smashfest Diaries profile. Um, that's one thing too, I wanted to give you a little shout out. Every day this week between, every day between now and before Kona, Smashfest Queen is profiling um, all of the athletes uh, in the Smashfest Diaries. So if you go to smashfestqueen.com, click on Smashfest Diaries, you'll see all of us. And every single woman has an amazing story. So I strongly recommend checking those out. I'm also sharing them on my Facebook page every day. So you can go there and check them out too. Um, but one of the questions that I had was sort of what made me, or what has been a real shift to kind of get me to the Kona level, if you will. Um, and I think it's been a lot of things. Cause the reality is like, I, I, it's not like I started this two years ago and now I'm going to Kona. I mean, I've been, I've been an, an, a triathlete since 2007 and an Ironman since 2008, so it's been over a decade that I've been doing this, uh, and I really haven't seen like true gains. And really, you know, it took like eight years to get to that point. But I think the real shift was, um, and this is one thing I, I, I do answer in this question, so I don't want to really give it all away because I'd love for you guys to read to read this little article. Um, but it was it was good because it really made me think about it And I think the difference is and this is in everything in life is that when you truly commit to something It's almost like it's not scary anymore because like you don't question it anymore You just yes, I'm gonna do it and I will do everything I can to make it happen. So things that come up like Beforehand I would say let's say I would get a workout or whatever like okay oh, I don't know when I'm gonna do that or I feel like I doing that or it's not really going well or whatever or maybe I don't want to do it today to now or since I really committed to giving myself completely to this dream goal that I have to be the best triathlon I can, best triathlete I could be it's uh, it's just do it I see my workout and I just do it um, there's really no question at all and that kind of goes with everything else in life too I have found um, and this is kind of one thing too about parenting and granted I'm a step parent so I don't know what the first five years of, of, of being a parent is like. I met my stepdaughter when she was five. Um, I don't know what childbirth is like. But there's something that happens and there's something that I realize is that when you're in that position, when you're in a parenting position or, you know, I, Hannah was under my care a lot for many, many years. And you just don't think about it. Like it's a true instinct, you just do it. It's like, it's just, this is just what I have to do and everything else will go away. Like my number one focus was her and that's it. And there's sort of a calm to that feeling. And now that, you know, I'm in this next phase of my life and sort of back to being this kind of athlete, it's the similar deal. 
and it's that it just is what it is like I'll do whatever I have to do like I'm whether or not I have the outcome that I want to have whether or not I, I, I race well or someone races better than I do whatever that part doesn't matter it's the fact that every single day I will do whatever I need to do to follow that goal because I've committed to it like it just is what it is like I'm not I'm not gonna go back on it because I said I would do it I'm gonna do it um, and that's also one thing that I've, I've <clears throat> done this year with my blogging is that I made this promise to myself or sort of you know deal that I wanted to blog every Tuesday and or every week and I after a couple weeks I made it into Tuesday it seemed like a, 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 a good day of the week to, to, to post and they haven't all been great I mean, I know that they haven't. I think that people have gotten something out of every single one of them, which is more than I could ever ask for. But the fact is that I've done it and it isn't a choice anymore. Uh, I just do it, you know? It's something where I've committed to it and you do whatever you have to do to make it happen. And that I think is, is a really freeing feeling actually. You know, we get so caught up in things like, ah, oh, I don't know if I can or do I have enough time? And you know, the fact is like if you have, something that you really care about and you're committed to following through on, just commit to it and then just do it. Everything else in your life will like work if you just commit to that one thing. It's amazing. Like it truly is kind of phenomenal how that pans out. So I have no idea, you know, how I'm gonna do next week in Kona. Um, I really, I'm not gonna say I don't care because of course I care. I wanna do well. Um, I want to place well. I want to have a good day. Um, but there's also something that I'm very aware of and that the actual race is going to be painful. Like it's going to hurt a lot. Um, and that's not lost on me. You know, I think that that's something that it's a huge honor to be racing there and it's, it took a lot to even get to this point. Um, but the fact is the race is going to be hard and I'm psyched about that. Like, I know what it's like to feel like that and what you need to realize or at least what I've learned over the years is that you just go through those moments. You just have to keep going through those moments because the other side, like there's always another side. There is. There's always something better on the other side um, or at least a bit of a reprieve or something. And if we didn't have those challenges, if we didn't have something to work towards, to work through, then like what are we here for? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not even an accolade or, you know, I'm not gonna earn anything from this race. I've spent a gazillion dollars getting to this point. Like, I'm not gonna make any money. Uh, but it's just the fact that like, you say you're gonna do something and you do it. And you just do whatever you can. Or you just, not even whatever you can, you just do it. You just say you're gonna do something and you tick off the tasks every day to make that happen. And sooner or later, like, you just start seeing things build up and add up and it's pretty remarkable. Um, anyway, kind of gone on long today, sorry about that. 